I was just driving to work on any old day, and then things just went, they changed quickly. St. Anthony Village Fire Chief Mark Sitaris was driving down Silver Lake Road in New Brighton when he saw a good Samaritan pulled over looking in distress and a small boy running along the side of the road. I just thought that this was a, a child running from his mom at first. And then once I had a, a little bit more information, things started to come together, but then it, it went, it got real, really fast. Before he knew it, the child had run down a ledge and into a wooded area and headed into a pond. And she yelled to me that he has autism. And the dad was yelling at me, help my son, help my son, I can't swim, he's in the water. Before jumping into the muck, Chief Sitaris radioed for help. St. Anthony officer Braden McNair joined in. At one point, I'm, as I'm taking off my belt and my vest to go in the water to help him, I could see the kid, like his head's dipping below the surface. I needed to get to him because going under once and then the fact that he went under a second time, you just knew he was getting tired. We got him out and his the boy's dad was there. So that was a pretty awesome feeling for us to be able to reunite them right away. Ellie Wilson of the Autism Society stopped by the firehouse to thank the heroes. To know that they responded effectively and quickly and were able to give this story a happy ending meant that I wanted to come and thank them. Chief Sitar says he's been involved in a lot of critical incidents in his career, delivering babies, saving heart attack victims, but rescuing that boy from that pond Wednesday will rank right up there where the memory he will cherish in his fire service career. In New Brighton, John Croman, CARE 11 News. Without a doubt. Well, the Autism Society is working with first responders across the state on how to deal with emergencies involving persons on the autism spectrum. That training is required now for police officers, but is voluntary for firefighters.